Hi, this is Alexis from the Kite Border Magazine. I'm here with Adrian Axis. How are you doing, sir? Good, very good. Got some great looking surfboards this year. Let's yeah, talk through I'll them. Talk through it all. Um, this is our new wave board. I guess we had this last year and covered a fair bit with us. Um, just to run quickly over what it is again, it's a, a 20 mil PVC foam, high density PVC foam uh, on the bottom of it, and then the top of the rail is made of polonia wood. This board here is CNC cut from top and bottom, and then it's uh, infusion laminated. We, ha we have a base mold and we assemble the board dry, dry glass boxes and everything, and vacuum it down in place, and then we use infusion lamination. So when it's under vacuum, uh, it's connected to a tube in the middle here, and it actually pulls the resin through the board and laminates like a stain right out to the rails and laminates the whole board. Ends up with a very light, durable construction. This board here, you've got a, a rebated deck, so the deck is lower down, and the uh, gives you a lower centre of gravity, and you have a rib down the centre for centering your feet on, and you can feel where you are on the board quite easily with it. You can see with this one, because of the construction, it's very, very flexible. And as a someone riding a, a, a surfboard for the first time, it, very smooth and chopped, very easy to ride, and uh, lower centre of gravity makes it a lot easier to ride. This is a 5.8, and we, this year we also have a 5.4 smaller version of this coming out. The 5.4 is going to be a quad. Let's talk the rest of the boards. I know you've got quite a few here. Yeah, uh, we have two different constructions. Um, this is this is one construction. This one here is the EPS core with a full 3mm um, PVC sandwich right around the rails covering the whole entire bottom. Uh, we have a, a 5.7 and a 5.10, which are similar, similar boards. They have five boxes and they're supplied with five fins. You can set it up as a quad or a thruster. Very versatile board, uh, wider, curvier outline, suits smaller, smaller waves and very versatile. Uh, this board here is our, our more expensive board in the range and it's, it's very, very strong, very durable construction. This is the six footer as a comparison. Yep. This one here is a, a thruster, a lot more tail rocker and it, it handles a lot more grunt. It's a okay, beautiful board for high end. technology you got going on here. Yeah, let's pop those ones away. Um, we have this similar style of board. This one here is uh, EPS core. It has a PVC sandwich through the deck area where you're standing here. And then it has a, a white oak, whitewashed oak finish top and bottom, which ends up with a really nice finish. It's a little cheaper to build, uh, but it's still very durable and looks pretty cool. Okay, and this one here is uh, our twin tip for de design for wave riding. And you can see on the base there, it's got a V spine, like it's basically a, a double concave to V setup with a tucked edge on the bottom. And it, it comes up so the ABS is almost pointing upwards in the middle. This tucked edge transitions through to a hard edge in the back. So it's like half of a wave rail. And this board here is totally symmetrical end to end. It's a 148 by 43. But I reckon it rides about like a 135 twin tip. It's not a massive board because um, the tips are quite narrow and it has it comes with three fins, uh, 180 and a couple of 70s, to, and you can sort of set them up as the back of the board. And the front of the board has a couple of 50s. This one here I've set it up today with the the binding set back a bit, and the front one I've done on quite an angle, and the rear one I've done more straight across. Uh, yeah. A twin tip for wave riding, and it's it's a new style of board. There's not really anything much to compare it to on the market. Right. Another side effect we've found for them is if you set it up with the 50 mil fins on all four corners, um, very very smooth and chop, and and r you ride it more as a balanced board. Okay. That kind of covers the surfboard range. Okay. Thank for you more very much. For more info, where can they get info on these boards? Uh, the sizes and all the other technical stuff. AxisKiteboarding.com or our Axis Facebook page. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you.